Uh, Adam Leeson wants to know who was more interesting to work with Bobby Heenan or Larry Zabisco. And was there one thing in particular, Tony missed when he was out of wrestling from 2001. So let's do the last question first. What did you miss the most about wrestling when you were gone? The most, the paycheck. I knew you were going to say the money, you motherfucker. Yeah. Is there something besides the paycheck you missed? No. You don't miss the camaraderie, the laughing, the jokes. You don't miss any of that. You're in a great. No, life. I mean, I, I, I do. And I, we have it now and I would miss it now because we have so much fun backstage and laughing and everything. And you didn't have I, fun like that before. No, I, I guess so. I, that's a good point. I, you know, uh, and, and it kind of ties into the first part of the question. Uh, we Heenan always entertained us, mm-hmm. made us laugh. Zabisco and his shirts, uh, just killed us. And, uh, and Larry and I played golf a lot. So I miss playing golf with Larry and, uh, yeah, I guess the camera. And of course, you know, I, I've talked so much about how great a guy Lee Marshall was and how much, you know, Heenan was so funny and Heenan would, he called Lee Marshall goo after Mr. Magoo because Lee right. without it. Lee without his glasses couldn't see shit. I mean, you never saw him with it on, on TV, but Lee Marshall had these really thick glasses and he, and he would go without them. And one time I, I think we're in Memphis. Uh, we're, we're, we're pulling out of the parking lot and Lee's going to his car and he is in the front seat with me. And Lee's doesn't have his glasses on. And, and he said, Oh my God, it's going to take goo 10 hours to find his car. And I just, it just popped me. So he did, uh, with the, uh, never ending jokes and the pranks that he pulled with us when we were traveled was a lot of fun being able to, you know, travel with dusty and that stuff. I, I think I had, and this is the case now, but not really as much now as it was back then. But I think we had more fun in the car than we actually did in the arena. Yeah. When, when I sense. would when I would drive and tell jokes and people in the back and, you know, uh, shitting on people like we do, uh, making fun of people, making fun of the business. Uh, it's kind of an extension of what we do now, right? We kind of make fun of things. So yeah, I, I miss the car rides, put it that way. Hey, uh, you once had a, a few fun car rides with our friend, Mr. Regal. And, and as I understand it, he's just filled with jokes on those type of circumstances. Any yeah. good Regal car jokes you can share with us? Oh my God. He was, he told one. No, I, I'll have to think of it. It, it, it takes me a while to remember jokes now, but he was great. He was absolutely great. As a matter of fact, you would say hello to him and he would start in with a joke immediately. I'll say, Hey, you Lordship. He said, did you hear the one about that? I'm thinking, <laughs> I love it. He's, he is really one of the, one of the funniest guys ever. And he says, you know, you do. And of course, you know, he and I reconnected recently when he was in uh, AEW. And, and I said, uh, you got any good jokes? He said, well, you know, you can't tell them like you used to because you offend people. I said, you're not going to offend me. Hit me with one. Um, and uh, I'm just, I can't remember them. I really can't. 